I've just received a mystery package from Scotland. Stay tuned and we can enjoy the contents together. Welcome back. Now I haven't received a mystery package in quite some time so I'm particularly excited by this one. Now this has been sent very kindly from my friend Derek over in Scotland and you may recall seeing a video or two before where he has sent some really cool stuff in the past and today this has just arrived. Um, it's taken a while. This was sent on January 11. So today is what, February 22nd. So that's a rather long journey, but it doesn't appear to have been abused by the customs folks. So let's go ahead and see what it is. Uh, rather excited by this. And I do have my knife handy just to help things out. So, let's see what we got here. A lot of uh, reading material by the looks of things. And oh, some toys as well. Where to start? Oh, 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 oh my God. Whew. How fantastic is this? Um, okay, let's start with this. Some fantastic uh, Hollywood nano rides featuring the classic Batman. We've got the Batmobile, Bat Cycle, and the Joker Mobile. Excellent. Jada, I do love the stuff Jada is doing uh, these days. And these I'm particularly happy to see. Action Force. This is what Baron, is it Iron Blood? Um, it kind of reminds me a bit of the recently uh, sacked Aberdeen manager, Jim Goodwin. <laughs> um, SAS, and I'm guessing, what was it, Z-Force was, was the was the military? I need to look up there all again. It's been so long since I've looked at Action Force, but yeah, fantastic. I'm really happy to see these again. Yeah, I don't know why it is, but when I stopped collecting Star Wars in, I guess, spring of 84. I jumped straight into Action Force, but it didn't last that long for me. It was only with Action Force a few months before getting into Transformers, but I'm really going to enjoy these figures. Now this is interesting. This is a, tr a Transformers comic that comes with a... Um, obviously a transformer, but one of these sort of grapple hand things. I'm wondering if I remember seeing this when I was in the UK four years ago, because I did buy a couple of Star Wars magazines for kids that came with free gifts, but seeing a comic with free gifts attached to the front page is very reminiscent of how it was back in the 80s. Um, oops, be careful with that. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. Fantastic. Ah. Oh, we have a... Oh, oh I'm seeing more cool stuff. Uh, an Eagle magazine from 1988. And it's got Ma Eagle and Mask. Fantastic. Uh, I do not remember this personally because in 1988 I was well into high school and had given up... Oh, there's two in fact. I'd given up on toys um, definitely some point late 86, 87, so I would not have been aware of this uh, double bill. But I do remember reading about the fact that Mask and Eagle did sort of join forces in the form of a uh, comic book. I'm going to really enjoy that. And another Battle Action Force, this time 1984. So this February 84. So yeah, quite possible I would have seen this on newsstands, although I was still into Star Wars at that point. But yeah, I'm going to enjoy that. Um, ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I can't actually show this photograph. Well, there are two photographs. Uh, there was my... Uh, old drum kit with a, I think that was my mum's teddy bear because I had my drum set up 
in the spare bedroom and my mum had some soft toys on the bed. So that was the teddy bear holding the drumstick. Uh, this one is actually a picture of uh, my ass and my friend Gordon's ass uh, mooning the camera. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to show you that here, but there is a note. I uh, hope this finds you well. It contains a couple of things picked up over the last few months that I thought you would work on your channel. Absolutely. Uh, plus, the annual was supposed to be a small Christmas present, but it's a bit late uh, for that now. And that's from Derek. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I can probably censor this to show you what I'm talking about, because everyone's thinking, what the hell is he on about here? But yeah, that's a rather white ass. But anyway, thank you for that. Oh, here we go. Now we're talking. This is the uh, flying gliders that we used to enjoy as kids. Um, I don't know if these are modern or not, but they certainly have the same sort of papery packaging that I remembered and uh, very similar designs. These were, these were like, I guess, 10p back in the day. Used to enjoy playing with these in the playground. And funnily enough, so we have the North American Mustang Mark II along with the Hawker Hurricane uh, Mark 11C. But interestingly enough, this is the Piper Tri-Pacer. Now, when I was a kid buying these gliders, we all wanted war machines. We did not want a civilian style of plane. And this one was always last in the box. These never got sold. No one wanted them. One time on holiday, I was with my mum and dad somewhere in the north of Scotland, I would imagine, and they had a box of propeller planes and I wanted one to play with. They, of course, they only had this one left. So I grudgingly bought it, but it turned out this one flew the best of all the ones I ever owned. So, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. This one did fly the best and did the best stunts. Um, they got some magazine here. This is, it's a rock legends of the 80s. Fantastic. We've got Bruce Dickinson, Axl Rose Slash and Springsteen on the cover. And, uh, and there's Bon Jovi with all their sort of poofy hairstyles and uh, Def Leppard again. But Metallica, excellent. Ah, oh. I'm going to thoroughly enjoy going through this. And last of all, now I've seen this online. This is the Toy Polloi 2023 annual. Excellent. Wow. I love how it's been done in the classic sort of hardcover style that we all remembered. And uh, I'm assuming this is just a look at Toy Polloi's collection and his thoughts on things. Going to really enjoy looking at this. Oh, wow. Every page I flicked at looks interesting. Wow. So there you go. What a wonderful selection of 80s goodies there. So a huge, huge thank you goes out to Derek. And, uh, you know, I can see the shipping on this. It's absolutely ridiculous, the price of shipping these days. So for you to have gone and done that is very generous of you and very much appreciated and uh, if any of you watching are fans of hard rock classic metal music I'll also post a link to his band's uh, YouTube page please do check it out subscribe listen to the music all that good stuff so there you go an absolute ton of 80s goodies it's given me a lot of sources of doing some more videos on and I hope you enjoyed watching that as much as I enjoyed unboxing that. Really fantastic trip down memory lane. And of course, uh, at some point you might see my edited shot of me mooning someone, which must have been back in, what, 92 or something. It's a long time ago. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Please like the video. Please share the video. Make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for more videos from all things 80s.